So Halle was a, a former business leader and investor in Iceland and uh, lived through, as did the people of that country, the economic crisis of 2008, and has now made this courageous step into the political arena. Can you share with us one of the toughest decisions as, as a leader, either on the business side or in your current uh, position, and what you took away from that decision? Sure, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'd like to go back 10 years. Um, I was at the time the CEO of Iceland Chamber of Commerce, which is sort of the leading organization for businesses and, and the banks in, in Iceland at the time. And 20 days after I took over in that role, the first woman to be in that uh, role, Iceland um, experienced some dif financial difficulties or economic difficulties, and this is in the year 2006. And so I found myself in this challenging context of having to do good in my role, but um, over a period of just a few months discovering that very few of the things that were going on around me aligned with my values and my view and vision of the world. And um, it was extremely tough because as a woman, and particularly when you're the first woman, you have to do your job and you have to do your duty and you have to do it at least that's good, better. or better, <laughs> exactly, you have to do it better. But at the same time, the more I learned about the state of the financial sector internationally and at home, the less I slept, and the less I believed in what was going on. And it was not in line with my own principles and values. And so a year, or less than a year after taking on that role, I made the decision to resign, to um, found my own investment firm based on different values. And this was in the year 2007, the height of the bubble in Iceland. So we got laughed about because uh, we founded it as a group of women. Um, and a year after that, or a year and a half after that, I, actually Iceland you know, had its infamous economic meltdown. And we survived intact. So I would say that the lessons I draw are very personal. And they are about you have to be your authentic self to be good at anything. You can't really be good if you're not your authentic self mm -hmm. as a leader. And you have to stick to your principles. And you have to believe in your insights and, and the way you feel just as much as what you can rationalize or what seems good to everybody else. And if you follow that, all is good. Um, and I, I think that was a very important lesson for me. Not an easy choice to leave a big prominent post mm -hmm. after only a year there. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of criticism for that. <laughs> uh, also got a lot of laughter for sticking with my own principles, but they actually served me and, <laughs> and a lot of our customers very well because pretty much everybody else in the sector suffered enormous casualties. Yeah.